Hello, my name is Joe Larson. I'm a senior solution engineer with Site Machine. And today I'm going to be talking about how to assess your data systems, your data fitness to support a manufacturing analytics engagement with Site Machine or really any manufacturing analytics platform. A principal problem manufacturers face when starting a data analytics initiative is this idea of data silos. This is created from implementing critical systems, be them point solutions on their lines, enterprise systems, or quality systems, all capturing important data, but not talking with one another, not being integrated to provide them a full view of their manufacturing process. Throughout this presentation, we're going to talk about how to connect to these systems and ultimately combine that information together in supporting your manufacturing analytics journey. When you assess your production data, your manufacturing data, there are a number of topics that we will dive into. Data connectivity, data readiness, and data fitness. These three categories are absolutely critical to making sure that you have a foundational structure to sit on to support your analytics needs. It's common for manufacturers to say, we already are connected to our machines. We're already collecting this data. And in many cases, that is true, but the ultimate accessibility of that data is still a challenge. For example, many engineers are operating on what we would call their enterprise network. This is the network where ERPs are at, where MESs are at, where maybe their business email is residing. But all of the data that could be in a lab system or in a control system is actually on a completely segregated network. And you may have multiple instances of these networks within your factory. Connecting to your machines, to your data sources is just the first step. Being able to then extract that data from those networks into a centralized repository is a challenge many manufacturers have. Collecting data is only part of the challenge. Being able to collect this data into a centralized place, regardless of the network it resides on, is a critical step in manufacturers' analytic journey. Manufacturers are collecting data from various systems, various networks, and doing that in a single plant is incredibly difficult. But the problem and the challenge does not stop there. You need to be able to look across your enterprise to all the different facilities you have, various cloud networks, to create a digital representation of your manufacturing process and drive value throughout your enterprise. My recommendation when thinking about connectivity is to address it from three different perspectives. Understanding your data sources and how you're going to connect to them and how that network is architected. The second is understanding the security policies, the security frameworks, and the security tools that might be impacting those data sources. And finally, and potentially often forgotten, is understanding who the tactical resource managers are that are managing those networks and managing those data sources. As you think about those three different categories, data sources, data security, and resource managers, it's also important to recognize if you are operating on a controls network or a corporate network or within a cloud, the types of questions you'll need to ask will change. For example, if you're on a controls network, how does that connection get bridged via a firewall or a historian or other type of connection? If you're within a cloud, who is that cloud provider? Who is the team that is managing that cloud? Are they the same team that's managing the controls network or the corporate network within your organization? Once you understand your data connectivity, it's important to understand the readiness of that data. What we mean by this is, can that data be extracted and understood in a meaningful way? This is a particular problem within the manufacturing environment because there are many different point solutions, some of which you see on the right-hand side of this slide, that empower manufacturers and can be different based on the facility, the type of product being produced, or the location. We have found when assessing data readiness, important to assess it across five different categories. And with every data source understanding, is it accessible? Is it in a format or protocol that can be easily read? 
that you understand the asset tagging, the relatability, meaning how is this data relating to other data streams? And finally, what institutional knowledge exists that needs to be incorporated from subject matter experts to make use of that data within your analytics journey? Being able to collect data and place it into a data lake is an important step, but it's just part of the journey. Once it's there, you're unable to relate this data together. You don't understand the relationships between the different data sources. This data, just being in a data lake, may not even be readable. It may be in a binary or proprietary format. It's the reason why just having data accessible is only the first step. You need to make it a point to understand how you'll relate to that data source to other data streams, how it will be read, and how it will be used within your analytics projects. To help manufacturers assess their readiness, Site Machine has created a questionnaire. It addresses the five categories that have been presented here, accessibility, format, tag mapping, data reliability, and institutional knowledge. This is an important framework and an important first step to being able to ask yourselves, what is my state? And if you aren't ready, what are the steps I need to take in order to get that to a point that I can support a manufacturing analytics initiative? The final area is assessing data fitness. Ultimately, this is where you are asking, what use cases do I need to address? And do the data sources that I've connected to, that I have ensured already, will provide the needed inputs for that use case. For example, you see reject analysis and downtime analysis. By understanding the different data sources that are going to be required, and if they are ready, you will be able to determine which use cases you're able to address and achieve success earlier within your manufacturing analytics initiative. We often hear from our customers, they've tried to implement an analytics initiative, but have not found success. A typical uh, use case would be something along the lines of predictive maintenance. And it's not because predictive maintenance is not powerful and meaningful. It's because they did not have the right data sources that were connected and ready to be able to support that initiative. To recap, Site Machine focuses on data connectivity, readiness, and fitness in all of our engagements. This allows us to accelerate our time to implementation and providing value for our customers. By utilizing this approach and understanding these three areas, you will be setting yourself up for success in your manufacturing analytics initiatives.